Okay, so we proceed to I, the Newton Raxon method. Okay, so for example, we have this uh, function. I let's say this uh, function is f of uh, x. Okay, so using this method, uh, we may assume one value near to the uh, root of the given uh, function. So for example, okay, we have to assume a value of x uh, near the actual root of the given function. Let's say this is an x sub uh, o. So using the Raphson method, we are to use a uh, differential uh, calculus. So if we are to uh, use differential calculus, we need the first derivative of the function at x sub uh, o. So the equivalent of the first derivative of that function is a tangent line uh, passing through uh, x sub o. So this tangent line is the same as f prime x sub uh, o. So this tangent line is expected to intersect the x axis. Uh, let's say this is a point or at x is equal to, uh, let's say x sub. Let's say this is x sub uh, 1. All right, will be, how do we compute for this value of x sub 1? All right, but then that is by ratio and proportion of similar triangle, or we are to use the, uh, the slope. But take note that the first derivative of the function at x sub o is the same as the, okay, the slope. If we say slope, okay, it is the same as rise over uh, run. So what is the rise? Okay, what is the height of this triangle? That is the same as f at x sub o. Okay, we have to really substitute this value of uh, x. Then what about the run? Okay, if you are to observe what is the length of this uh, line, from the y-axis to x sub o, that is x sub o. From the y-axis to x sub 1, this is the same as x sub 1. So this uh, distance from x sub o to x sub 1 is the same as x sub o minus x sub 1. So we have the first derivative is the slope rise over uh, 1. We have f prime x sub o is equal to okay, the rise that is the same as f x sub O divided by the run, this horizontal distance is the same as x sub O minus x sub uh, 1. So we are computing for uh, x sub 1. Uh, we may do to, uh, cross multiplication. This is the same as x sub O minus x sub 1 is equal to, we have f x sub O divided by the first derivative, f prime x sub uh, O. Then we transpose x sub o, this is now equal to negative x sub 1, is now equal to f of x sub o, divided by f prime of x sub o, then transpose, this is negative x sub o. We are multiplying negative 1 on both sides of the equation, just to remove this negative sign. So we are having the equation of x sub 1, x sub 1 is now equal to, okay, this will be positive, x sub o, I minus I f of x sub o divided by the first derivative f prime x sub o. So that's the value of uh, x sub 1. What we have to do is uh, repeat the process up to a point that this tangent line will be the tangent by passing through the solution or the root of the given uh, function. Okay, so this is the concept of the Newton Raphson method. Let's have an example. So as an example, let's say this is f of x equal to x cubed minus uh, 7. So before we proceed with the iteration, uh, let us first identify a small range wherein we can be uh, sure that the root of this function is included. So let's say we have a short range uh, AB. Let's say, well, let us consider that the root of this function is somewhere between 1 and 2 or one of the root of this function is somewhere between uh, 1 and uh, 2 so how to know that if we have the change in a uh, sign so let's say this is f at uh, a or the same as f at 1 so this is the same as 1 cubed minus 7 this is obviously negative okay, negative 6 what about f at b this is equal to f at 2 
That is equal to 2 cube minus 7, 2 cube is 8, minus 1, that is equal to positive 1. So we have the change inside from negative to positive. So therefore, we can conclude that the root is somewhere between 1 and uh, 2. Then we are to decide on what uh, we have to decide what will be our initial guess for in uh, reference value of x. We can use 1 and we can use uh, 2. But for this case, okay, we are to use Okay, x sub o equal to uh, 2. We, we just need one value as a reference value for the Newton uh, Raphson uh, method. So we have the initial function. This is f of x is equal to x cubed minus 7. So we need the first derivative. This is f prime x of x equal to uh, first derivative. This is 3x okay, squared. Then we are to use compute for the next value of x, this is the x sub o minus f x sub o divided by f prime, the first derivative of x sub o, f prime of x sub o. Alright, so let us uh, present our solution in tabular form. So let's say this is uh, for the value of x, we have f of x is the function that is x cubed minus uh, 7. Then we have f prime of x, the first derivative, that is 3x squared. Alright, so our initial guess is 2. And we have 2, what is f of 2? That is, f of 2 is positive 1. What about the f prime of 2? That is the same as 3 minus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4 times 3, this is a 12. So for example, we are to compute for the next value of x. This is for the first iteration. And we have x sub 1 is, what is our initial guess? Or in the reference number, we have 2. Minus f of x sub, x sub 0, that is 1. Okay, divided by f prime of x sub 0 is uh, 12. So what is 2 minus 1 over 12? This is 2 minus 1 over 12 is equal to, let's say, the next value of x is 1.9166 uh, six. let's say we are to use 6 decimal places for this one uh, 6, 7, alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 1.916667 seven. so this is for the first iteration, we have 1.916667 one six, six, uh, six, uh, so we can use uh, more decimal places if we want for a closer value or for more accurate uh, result. So what will be the equivalent of f of x? Using this one, that is the same as 1.91667 uh, raised to 3 minus uh, 7. So we have the value, this is 0 0.0410 uh, Two, four, six. So I'll be using six decimal places. Zero point zero four one zero ninety at two. Alright, then we we'll have the value of f prime of x. You see this value that is the same as three times one point nine one six six seven. I squared. So we have the value eleven point zero two zero eight. Uh, 37 Okay, then all you have to do is uh, repeat the process for the second iteration, for example So all you have to do is, alright, this value, 1 point 91, this is 1.916667 Minus the ratio of f of x and f, and f prime of x So minus, we have 0 0.041 Zero ninety-two okay, divided by eleven point zero two zero eight thirty seven. And then see we have the value one point nine one two nine three eight. Alright, so one point nine one two nine three eight. What about what will be the value of the uh, function using this value? We have 1.912938. This is raised to 3 okay, minus 7. 
1.913. So you have the value, this is now a very small value. You have 0 0.00007. Uh, 75. If you have to use uh, six decimal places, are you using six decimal places? This will be the value. Then we have I on the first derivative. This is this value. We have three times 1.912938 uh, squared. So we have 10. Point I nine seven seven I nine nine five. So actually, you can uh, we can stop here since this is a very small value, approximately equal to a zero. But if we are to continue, for example, we are to proceed on the third iteration. Okay, that is the same as one point nine one two nine three eight less the ratio of this two, okay, less point zero zero zero. Uh, 75 divided by uh, 10.977995. And we have the value, this is now 1.9129 uh, 31. 1.912931. So let us check what will be the equivalent of the function using 1.912931 cube. A minus a 7. So this is already uh, going to the negative value. So this is a negative 2.006. This is a constant raised to negative uh, 6 already. So it is beyond 5 or 6 decimal places already. So we have for this one. Uh, this is 3 times uh, 1.912. Uh, 931 squared. And it's equal to 10.977915. Uh, but our goal is to make the value of the function approximately equal to uh, zero. So if we are to stop on the third iteration, we can conclude that this is uh, near the root x equal to 1.912. 9, 30, or 1. Alright, this is the closest value of if you have to stop on the third iteration.